Thank you very much to Frank Sherry for coming and participating in the Autumn Academy 2017 here in Oxford. It was very inspiring to know your work in the US on uh, influencing public opinion to, for the fight towards uh, the right of undocumented migrants. You uh, define yourself as an advocate who has been fighting for the regularization of the 11, 12 million undocumented migrants. Uh, in the US. Would you please explain to us what were the highlights of this fight? Well, our project has been to pass a law in Congress that would regularize the status of the 11 million undocumented immigrants in America. And it has been an uphill battle and we have still not yet succeeded. But we've learned a lot in the process. So um, we've put together a policy proposal called Comprehensive Immigration Reform that combines the legalization of undocumented immigrants, the expansion of legal immigration, both permanent and temporary, and targeted tough enforcement directed primarily at points of entry in the border and at the workplace. The idea is to be able to have a system that is modernized instead of driving migration into the black market where it is repressed ineffectively, we want to bring it into a, uh, to legal channels so that it can be regulated effectively. Um, that's the project. Um, we've gotten close uh, three or four times in the past 10 years, but fallen short. The populists have uh, been, been able to outgun us in the end and uh, keep Congress from acting. We have broad public support. We have majorities in both Congress, but in the constellation of American policymaking, the uh, populist forces within the Republican Party have been just strong enough to stop us. Thank you. And you said that um, the policy processes in the US and Europe are very different, but that you realize how the dynamics of public opinion are similar on these issues in the two continents. Would you please elaborate on that? Sure. Um, well, based on our research in America and research in, in Europe, it's clear that there is basically in every society a, a, a strongly anti-immigrant, anti-migrant view. There's a, pretty, there's a strong pro-migrant view, and then there's many people who are in the middle who are ambivalent, who are having an argument in their head about whether they're good for the country or bad for the country and whether it's going to work out, whether they should be admitted. That constellation is similar. Now, it's different in each country, uh, but um, what we have learned in America is that um, we need to do three things. One, we need to mobilize and expand the number of people in society who really do think that immigrants and refugees are, uh, bring a lot of talents and skills and dynamism to the society and should be accepted and integrated. We have to be persuasive to people in the middle. We have to persuade the skeptics with arguments that are pragmatic, that address their concerns about effective government management, about are people going to integrate effectively, um, uh, is it going to be good for the economy. And then what we also do as advocates is try to define and marginalize opponents who say, you know, look, it's, we have to protect uh, our society from these invaders who are a threat and are going to take from us. That kind of zero-sum xenophobic idea and notion is a very powerful narrative in Europe and in America, um, and, it's, and it's on the rise, but we can't just, you know, ignore it. I think we have to both build a bulwark against it with both a strong and mobilized pro-immigrant force persuade people in the middle, and also define opponents in, in hopes that they uh, are, are, are limited in terms of their influence on the debate. Thank you very much. Thank you.